chicken. We're going to make some chicken and biscuits. This is a copycat Cracker Barrel recipe. It looks yummy. It is yummy. Let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do is the biscuits. In a bowl, this is two and a quarter cups of biscuit mix, your choice of course. And to that we are going to put one and a half teaspoons of sugar. Mix all that up. Next up, our wet ingredient, buttermilk. Two-thirds of a cup to be exact. And then we combine it all. until we get this nice sticky ball of dough. Oh, we need some flour. Good amount of flour on our cutting board. And now we're going to carefully pull out all that dough. Mush it around in the dough until we can get it workable so it's not quite so sticky. That would be mush it around the flour until it's not so sticky. And it'll look something like that. And after a few minutes, there's our dough. Throw a little extra flour down. We're going to get a rolling pin out and kind of mush it down so it's a little smoother. I guess you don't necessarily have to use a rolling pin. And you want this anywhere from a half an inch to an inch thick. Your preference, of course. That looks biscuity enough. So I take out my biscuit cutter upper. These things are really cool. I guess if you don't have one that fancy, use a use a cup. Should just about work. This one's just because of the steel it makes it easier to cut like a cookie cutter. And we'll roll it out and get a couple more, two or three. And we're just going to keep going until we get all the biscuits we can. I ended up with eight biscuits and a kind of half size biscuit. That's not too bad for what little I put in. Now we're going to line them up on our baking sheet. And to that we've got some melted butter. About a tablespoon. And we're going to brush that on the top of each of the biscuits. Yummy. Into the preheated oven 450 for 8 to 10 minutes until they're close to golden brown like that. And then we're going to put the remainder of the butter on the top because you will have a little bit. And there you go. Let's get them on a plate and our first half of our project is done. There they are. Nice copycat Cracker Barrel biscuits. Now, onto the chicken. We have a bowl with two cups of flour and a couple teaspoons of salt. Mix all that together and put it aside. Our wet ingredient is one cup of buttermilk and a half a cup of water. We'll mix that, put it aside into a pot. This is just a small pot unfortunately. I've got enough oil probably close to a quart for frying the chicken obviously. And I'm going to let that warm up while we get our chicken out and ready to go. So I've got some chicken thighs and chicken breasts actually. Boneless chicken thighs and boneless chicken breasts. Now they're not all the same size, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 
chicken thighs out. They should be fine. The breast I'm going to have to cut. So this first one, I cut in half, and that's probably pretty close to the size of the chicken thighs. This other breast is a little bigger, so i got to kind of think. I'm going to cut it in half, or a little less than half. And then the bigger part, I'm going to cut that in half. So there you go. I think that works out to about nine pieces of chicken. That's lots. So there you have them. They are ready to get into the oil. Yummy. I can't wait. So first we got to prep them up. There's our flour. And if you want to put a little bit of pepper or garlic powder in that flour mixture, by all means. And our buttermilk. So what we do here is I've got the chicken. We're going to pat it dry with some paper towel. Not, not, not hard, but enough. Into the flour, lightly dusted, just enough to cover it. Shake off the excess into the buttermilk and then back into the flour. Now you want to really coat everywhere. Get all the crevices and stuff. And I just put it on the, the baking rack until I'm done. There's my nine piece. Clean everything up. And here you go. There's all our chicken ready to go into the fryer. Well, here's our fryer. Wrap the temperature look. Oh, there we go. One piece. Two pieces. And one more piece should be enough. You don't want to crowd them. And since I got nine pieces, I know I've got three different uh, lifts I'm going to have to do. And that's fine. And they really bubble up at first now. I didn't have my tongs ready to go, so I just used a knife. Now you want to make sure once you get the chicken into the oil that you separate the pieces because if you don't, they will stick together. Then you got an even harder thing to separate them, especially because you got to fight with the boiling oil. Do you want about between 10 and 15 minutes? I think this first batch I did about five minutes each side and then I flipped them over with the tongs. And you can see they're starting to brown up and crisp up at the 10 minute mark. And I think they're ready to go at this point. They will cook a little bit once you pull them out of the oil too. Not much, but enough. Okay, we're going to get our second lift in, same as the first. One, two, and three. And there you go when our last batch is done, nice and golden brown, yummy. And if you like it really, really brown, Leave them in for a good 15 minutes. I mean, you could do 20 if you wanted to, 10 minutes each side. I think you might end up with really well done chicken, though, at that point. So just to make sure that first batch is okay, here's our knife and our piece of chicken, and we're just going to cut into it on the thick part and just check it out. And it is absolutely perfect. It is well done the way I want it. A little bit of juice coming out. Let's get it on a plate. So here you got our chicken and our biscuits, and I made some corn to go along with it. Now that's a good weekday meal. Hey, another great recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. Leave me a comment below, one way or the other. Listen, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because that'll tell you the next time I upload a video. Feel free to share this in any of my other videos. And thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.